Hey guys, it's Shannon here again. Um, earlier Sarah and I released a video of us doing like an army's tag and we did mention that we attempted to make a blood, sweat, and tears reaction video. However, something went completely wrong and it never happened. So now that I'm here by myself, she went home. Um, I decided to try again and get this thing to work. So hopefully we don't run into any more problems and you guys will get to watch probably another of a million reaction videos. You've already seen tons of them, I'm sure, because there's always a billion the day the videos come out. So uh, let's go. Love this opening. Their opening's very familiar to me. Why is Yungi riding a bicycle in a museum? I think that was Suga though. And now Jun has a book. Did you mean gonna like shoot him for smacking him? <laughs> They're really pretty. Wow, Jin's got a sparkly collar. That is that is quite good. I wonder how many beads are on that. The fuck is in that picture? Okay, now we're getting into uh, teaser stuff. Holy fuck, Jimin's hair! <laughs> They've all got some pretty deep V cut. Okay. I like the choker. Is that Cookie? I could have sworn that was Jin in the teaser because his hair color looks lighter. No, that's definitely Cookie. Is Namjoon singing? Oh, we... <laughs> I really like that they seem to be folk giving V more vocal parts. His cipher was great. Aw, uh, Cookie joined the bowl cut crew. It looks good on him though. It really does. It sounds like they're saying money, 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 but I don't think that's what they're saying. What? What? Uh, okay. All right, I gotta pay attention. I love the paint splatters that they've been using lately. <laughs> Smoke bomb? Alright. Jin has a lot of beads on his clothes in this video. And Jimin's just fucking slaying it. There's the apple and the blindfold again. This apple, every time I see it, it reminds me of Death Note. Okay, where are you going? I'm liking the pink. I think they just did another crotch grab. Is Jin standing on a table? Okay, this is in the teaser, I think, floating upside down part. Ty, put your tongue in your mouth! Okay, this is definitely from the teaser. Cookie. I think that's Jin. Well, they're all blinded now. Okay. That is definitely... I, 
think that's Jin. Okay, more Damien lines. I love it when Namjoon speaks English. I, I mean, it's just, oh. his pronunciation is great. He, he catches on a couple words, but it's still great. Is that, oh, okay, it's not over. Okay, Yonggi is playing. They're always running. What is Ty stopping? Okay. Okay. Jin stopped. What is that? What are they looking at? Is that supposed to be a reference to a Braxis? Is that a statue or a person? What is Jin doing? Jin. Okay, so that, wait, he had wing marks on his back. What? <laughs> he gives me fucking chills. Okay, they have more running paint. They had some of those in the teaser videos in, in um, Cookie's video. They had the paint running down the image. And it was on Namjoon's arm in reflection also. Are they gonna like grab, yep, they're doing more crotch grabs. And those are the flower petals from- wait, is Jin cracking? What? Okay, that was the end. Okay, so... I'm a little blown out by this. Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, it was more than pretty good, it was fucking amazing. The crotch grabbing was something- <laughs> those boys- can be sexy with their clothes on. They don't need to take their clothes to be sexy. Like, I've been seeing all day people posting like animated GIFs of that crotch grab scene and I was just like, okay, so I was kind of expecting it, but actually seeing it, I was like, okay. And then it was there two more times. Um, what I really liked was everybody, it, it, Namjoon singing. Namjoon singing, seriously. Please, please, that boy is talented. I love it. Love it. And it seemed, I hope he was singing a lot too, and he had a lot more lines than he seems to usually. So I liked that, and I like Hobie's like having dancing off to the side by himself too. He's an amazing dancer, and I was really, really very happy with um, the intro video. Um, Boy Meets Evil with his dancing, and I'm really glad that they are capitalizing on Hobie's dancing because he's amazing. Um, I really don't like Tay's hair color. Fee's hair color bothers me because I'm a hairstylist and it's too yellow, but meh. It looked better in the, the live stream this morning, though. I think they toned it down some. It didn't look as yellow. Could have been the lighting, but it looked a lot better. Um, it did have a lot of beads on his clothes, I noticed. Um, another thing is they were still definitely following the Damien, um, the Damien theme, which I'm kind of starting to question if maybe they're all Damien and Jin is just Sinclair. With the teasers, I thought they were all Emil at different parts of Emil's life, but with this one, I'm, I'm a little, a little more confused because of the fact that Jin's still alienated and he's like trying to like let go of them like at the end of the video like at the end of his awake video he was like he dropped the photos and was walking away and at the end of the book Emil doesn't need Damien anymore and walks away from him so there's the possibility of Jin being Emil and then being Damien but I'm not sure I mean they could still all be Emil but I don't know. I, I'm kind of lost right now. I saw like the flowers from the other video that Jin kept like put on the floor, like the wings, and and 
V following him around in the video and covering his eyes and that smirk. It's like he's the devil. He's, I don't know, he's, I, I feel like V portrays some sort of fallen angel and he's like the Jin's temptation. Like he's tempting Jin away, which I don't really want to happen. Jin, please stay. Don't go anywhere. We love you. Please. <laughs> um, trying to think of what else I noticed. Like I said, that apple reminds you of Death Note. And, but the apple is symbolic of um, Sinclair's lie um, to Cromer about the apples. Um, Jimin was blindfolded a few times and other things. Um, I don't know why Yoongi was riding a bicycle in the museum. I mean, he didn't hurt anybody, but I think part of, part of my actual theory on why they are, um, alienating Jin is because of Jin's fear of not being good enough and how I believe Jin came in as a model, not as like a singer or a dancer. So he's always felt that he didn't have as much to offer as the other members is what I've been hearing from other armies. Um, and I feel like they're intentionally doing this and centering around Jin to kind of put him out there for people to see, hey, look, here's Jin. He's a talented, amazing person. Pay attention to him. Because I feel like Jin and Hobie and Namjoon have always been kind of at the bottom. And now they're like putting Hobie at the front. They're putting Jin at the front. I mean, they're giving... Namjoon was singing, for Christ's sake. I know I already said that, but I'm still like in complete awe of that. I, I fucking love him and his voice. He's beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm a really big rap monster fan. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I'm still a little iffy on where they're going with the Damien thing with this, like who, who, who represents who, but I think that they're using this as an opportunity to give Hobie and Jin and maybe even V, who didn't really seem to have a lot of vocal lines, a, a, um, a bigger, broader spectrum, and put them in the spotlight a little bit and give them um, a little more attention, which is wonderful. I love these guys. I love this group. I love Big Hit. Thank you so much, you guys. You're amazing. And it looks like the video has been pretty fucking close to 4 million views, if not over, when I just watched that. I hope it keeps going up. I hope you guys sell another 500,000 uh, albums and keep up the good work. We love you. Bangtan fighting and I will be coming with new videos soon.